Okay, so this is the first video of a series of videos about Trackit, which is um, a truly unique device um, with regards to our range of devices and something completely different with regards to um, a mouse alternative. It's basically a scanning mouse. It combines scanning and uh, cursor control for people who have severe motor skill difficulties um, where using a cursor or a normal device with a joystick perhaps or a trackball is quite difficult to maintain um, but are quite good with switches or able to use one or more switches. So uh, the unit itself looks like this. Um, you'll see it has like a clock face, eight directional clock face and four buttons there, left click, right click, drag lock and double click. The mode and speed button I'll go through in due course. You, it comes with a holder, like a Perspex holder like this, where you can put it straight in and stand it up so it's easy to, for people to see, perhaps mount it a little bit so that people can see using a wheelchair perhaps. And you've got the four switch ports at the top, I've got a switch already plugged in there, the yellow one in number one. It's a USB device which you can use on laptop, um, but obviously because it's USB you can also use it on iPad or um, a USB device uh, such as an Android tablet. Um, and it's quite easy to get going straight away. In this video I'll show you the basic operation of one switch and how its default setup is, is kind of geared towards plug and play and getting straight into it. So without further ado I'll plug it in. So you hear that audible sound to connect, the lights lit up straight away on up and it goes to down and then scans around. So this scanning will continue around all of the eight directions and the four buttons underneath. And the idea of how this works is when you're ready to uh, use a direction or um, press a function, you simply press the scanning uh, switch and you can then press it again or hold it to move it in that direction. Once you've moved it in a direction, the track it um, automatically defaults to the, to the opposite direction of the direction that you were just moving. This is because most users will uh, be moving in a direction, perhaps need to sort of fine tune their, their movement of the cursor back in the direction they were coming from. So I'll just show you a little bit more movement. So you press the button to get going and then press it again uh, as you go. So what I'll do now is I'll show you it functioning as a mouse and selecting something on screen. Um, and to do that, we just need to navigate to something. So I'm going to move up to the top. So as you'll see with the time it takes to allow it to move around all the functions, it does require a lot of patience. But for those that are uh, able to use this kind of device, it can be quite beneficial if you're able to get through that, that sort of part of it. And there you go, I've left clicked into the AT section of the website. So that's as simple as that, how you get going with one switch. It really is quite straightforward to get going and using that scan and te scanning technique. The speed of the time between each directional um, arrow can be changed and the different functions that are available um, I'll go through in future videos along with the different uh, types of, of usage you can have with different switches. So that's the first video from me on Trackit showing you how to use it with one switch and how simple it is to get going and navigating around a screen. Thank you very much.